Hi everyone, welcome to Edifo. In this video, I would like to introduce you how to tabulate, analyze and prepare graph from Likert scale questionnaire data using Microsoft Excel. Likert scale questions are widely used to measure attitudes and opinions with a great degree of nuance than a simple yes or no question. Likert scales are survey questions that offer a range of answer options from one extreme attitude to another like strongly agree to strongly disagree. Likert scales are quite popular because they are one of the most reliable ways to measure opinions, perceptions and behaviors. Let's move to the process. Open the Excel and consider each column for your data tabulation purpose. The first column representing the respondent ID and second column question number one third column question number two and four five like this provide each column for each questions up to ten questions in this example I'm considering ten questions just give some space for each column yeah it's fine then respondent number one and in this example I'm going to tabulate the answers of 40 respondents. So it's okay. And centralize it just okay. Then we are considering four scales from strongly agree to strongly disagree. So the first respondent give strongly agree to question number one, and second respondent give strongly agree, and third respondent give agree scale and fourth respondent agree, then fifth disagree, and sixth disagree, again seventh strongly disagree. So in this way, you just give dummy data for your analysis uh, for 10 questions. So 40 to 10 response you can get. Fill it up firstly. Pause this video, do it. I have already finished my work like this. So this is the dummy data. So we have 10 into 40 responses from the respondents. The first column representing the question one, second column response of question two, third, fourth, like this. So we are collected response of 40 respondents. So we need to count the number of response and we have to count the blank answers anyone who not answered any questions then you have to find the total left line okay so we can apply an equation equal to count a count a that function returns a non blank cell number of non blank cell give the range here drag it out then press enter okay. Okay, 40. Everyone give the answer for the first question. The not answered. Apply another function of Excel, count blank. To help to find the number of blank cells. Give the range up to 40. Press enter key, zero. Everyone give the answer for the first question. Then calculate the total equal to sum of range count and not answer equal to 40 so we have find out the count total number of answer blank answer not answered count of not answered and total 40 next we need to count the number of responses to different scales we have four scales so how many response to strongly agree? Like that. Apply an effective equation of Excel equal to count if. Equal to count if the first parameter is the range. Give the full range of first question, comma. In double quotation, give the search keyword that is strongly agree. 
exactly this quotation, close, close bracket, and rookie. 26. 26 respondents give answer as strongly agree to first question. So we need to modify a little bit more, delete the strongly agree, and give the cell A50. A50, the content of A50 strongly agree, automatically it will reprice in the function. 26. So next we need to change the cell address. Give a dollar sign between B and 2. Automatically 2 become constant. The same way 40 become, 41 become constant. And here the A cell become constant. And okay, 26. Drag it down. Yes, it's easy. The different number of response to different skills. Find out the total. Apply the function equal to sum. Drag it down. And okay. 40. Yes. We get the total 40. Next step is to find out the percentage of each options. So strongly agree in percentage. Agree in percentage like that. Because for the reporting purpose, we need the percentage, not the count. Total. Yes. For calculating the total, just put the cursor here equal to the strongly agree number divided by the total number. And change the 54 in constant percent key. Yes. 0.65. Okay, then drag it down. Yes, we can see in decimal numbers. We can convert it into percentage. So here, click the percentage button. Now see, it's converted into percentage, yes. 65 percentage says strongly agree. 8 percentage says disagree like that. So we can apply to all these calculations for the first question into remaining all questions and drag it down. Yes. Perfect. You see, the first question calculation applied to all the questions. 100% we can see. And this is the result of calculations and analyze it. Now it is look good. Now next step is to convert this result into a good report. Select the another sheet, fresh sheet. From the top, copy the top row, copy it. Then here paste it, right button, paste special, select it. From here select values and transpose, okay. Now it will convert into transpose way. The row become column. Change the first column into questions. We can see the 10 questions here. Next. Copy the totals here. Copy. Follow the same procedure. Right button. Pay special. Values. Transpose. Okay. Now, the total number of response to each questions is very easy. Next step is the step. Copy all the percentage results, including the title. Copy it. Apply the same procedure, right button, paste special, value, transpose. Now it's on decimal numbers. Select it, change it into percentage, click the home percentage button. Yes, now it's in percentage. Now make some modifications and make it presentable. Yes, word wrap. Give some space. Yes, look good. Centralize it. Now it's okay. Give a little background color, green, yes. Now it's 
centralize nice then give column width height okay yes it look good now we can give a border select from here a thick border here it is give a thick border yeah look good now select thin lines in between cells select border styles from border select a thin line and apply across here click here okay now it's pretty good now we just bold it the percentages yes then total bold it yes now the result is okay next how we can prepare a graph from this tabulated data for this purpose we have to select the first two rows from the table which represent the question number 1 question number 1 answer only select the four options and then insert and then column select a bar graph that's it this graph representing the data of first question double click on the border you can see the format chart options a rich set of formatting options are available for the graph so you can change it like this click here you can change the graph type to any type now the direction is changing for the bar graph again click here change it into the another one just look like it you can increase the size of graph by clicking here yes now delete that we can give the border for the graph just click on the double click on the border we can get the property window so select the border select the color yes that's it okay now we can see a border color that's not good change it to a dark blue okay yes dark blue okay now it's okay so this way you can prepare the graph for each questions data which is very helpful for a presentation purpose that's it i hope that you enjoy this video and please provide your comments below and subscribe my channel for further videos thank you for watching this see you again